Hey there. With this little tutorial, I would like to address um, an issue inside ZBrush, which um, was plaguing me for, for years, basically. I've been working in ZBrush for seven or eight years, and I didn't know the solution to this problem until recently, when I was forced to uh, uh, thoroughly research this uh, subject, because my wife asked me a direct question. And uh, ZBrush is a very smartly designed program. And uh, unlike many other 3D applications, it is also um, quite well documented. Make Polymesh 3D. But still, there are certain things which are a little weird inside ZBrush, like uh, its inability, for instance, to save. I've just pushed Ctrl S to save, to remember the path of the previous project. I have no idea how to solve this problem inside ZBrush. Um, one way to work around it would be to um, keep shortcuts like I do right now on the desktop, but it is not very convenient, frankly. Another, another issue is how to reset uh, shaders. How to reset shaders, and uh, that is what I'm going to uh, talk about right now. Right here we have a sphere, and if I go through different materials, uh, you will notice that uh, the sphere changes its appearance. Because right now there is no material assigned to this sphere. But if I'll take, for instance, uh, a standard brush and I change its properties from, um, from Z at or Z sub to M, meaning that uh, it is no longer doing any physical deformation, but it can be used for painting, and M means that I will be uh, painting with shaders. I also will have to uh, go to polypaint and uh, push the colorize button. So now, if I will be um, trying to paint something on the surface of the sphere, nothing is going to happen because um, I'm uh, painting with a shader which is currently assigned, which is currently selected. But right now, if I were to choose a different shader, you will see uh, that the part where I uh, put my brush strokes, they are now um, colored with a different shader. And I can continue this process, and I can uh, choose a different shader uh, still. And basically I can uh, put as many different... Uh, <clears throat> I can paint with as many different shaders as I like. But the problem with this is that now the, those polygons or those portions of the sphere which I painted on with a shader, they are sort of um, stuck with this shader. And if I need to test on the model with a different shader, this particular part of the model, I will have to paint over it. Like there are uh, some parts of the model which still have no shader, uh, so that when I go through the different shaders, it will change appearance, but of those which I painted on, they stay the same now, and uh, that is not uh, always comfortable. And the question my wife asked me was, how, how do I completely remove the shader from the model? And I didn't know the answer to that, and uh, so I had to go on the internet and uh, read a few, uh, a few forums. I even thought there was no solution. Like with this issue, when ZBrush doesn't remember the path to the previous project. But uh, fortunately, uh, there is a solution here. And the solution is the flat color shader. Here is the flat color shader. And the thing about flat color shader is that it actually contains no information, neither about color nor about the shader itself. So if you select a flat color and go to color, uh, and with RGB intensity at 100%, you will press a fill object. It will fill the entire object, and after that you'll find that the material was removed from the object completely. Funny that it took me so many years to find a solution to this problem, which was actually quite annoying.